I'll think that you make great artisan bread, right? I'll think that maybe you're inconsistent in your delivery time, right? Comes with artisan bread, yeah. Right. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll think that you're, you're, you're on the high end of price, but I'm, 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 I'm paying for quality. I'm paying for artisan bread. I don't expect you to be competing against against Shaw's and Hannaford Brothers because it's a different it's a different quality. So, what is your marketing message? I would argue that your your marketing message is quality. You're using whatever ingredients you use, I don't know if they're organic or or or, um, or local or whatever whatever your message is, um, and and that's very important because if people are in if if consumers, in this case, well, not consumers, B two B, business to business, are going to pay top top dollar, they have to have a reason for doing that. So, the strategy that I used when I owned my my restaurant is I, I wanted to make sure that my cost of goods sold, uh, what it cost me to produce each item, was within industry standards. And then I went to Panera Bread, which is, was kind of our model. I said, I'm going to charge a dollar more than that. Because, <laughs> I'm going to some secrets here, but, um, oh, thereabouts, thereabouts. I, I, had, I tested the market, but Panera was not in my market. Um, so I didn't compete against them. And I was in kind of, I was, I'm in Durham. Does anybody here know Durham? Where the University of New Hampshire is? Very small town, right? Very small town. But there's not, there's not a lot to eat for lunch, for breakfast and lunch, which is 90% of our business. So I felt like I could capture a market at a little higher than average because we had a great product. And we gave a lot back to the community and, and, and the community felt an allegiance to us. So that was my message. He said, look guys, we're here for you. If you support us, we want to provide health insurance for our, for our, our full-time employees. We even put this on, on, on a message, on a poster on the board. This is what we do. We didn't tell them that we, we're expen we, we felt we're a little higher than where we probably should be. That was implied. This is what we do as a local business. And maybe if you think you're, you, you're paying a little more, this is why you want. Right? Um, What's your marketing, what is the, the medium that will you, you will use to deliver that message? Social media, right? What are you guys, what are you guys using? Social media, what, what kind? Well, I have a website and Facebook, and mm -hmm. word, I'm word of mouth, I'm a consultant. You're word of mouth. How about you? Is, um, we have a website, we use a Facebook page. The bread is mostly word of mouth. Yep. The Teddy uh, Wireless Network is also mostly word of mouth, although we're working hard at getting the word out there about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Social media. So with <coughs> social media now, we, we've, got, we've got opportunities in that um, it's inexpensive, but we have challenges with social media in that you really, know how to, you really have to know how to utilize it. And is that, there's, uh, social media, how does that interplay with search engine optimization? <coughs> so if somebody's looking for, looking for your product or service, um, you, you, you really want to, wanna on, on your Google searches, you really want to come up, up at the top of the list or towards the top of the list. And there are a lot of strategies around that, around social media. So to, if you understand that, um, you're certainly a lot better off. And in this challenge, in this era, you guys, especially up here, are not advertising a lot in newspapers. You're certainly not doing TV or radio, I would, I would think. Um, so you really need to be cost effective. And, and even though it's relatively inexpensive to have a social media presence, to have an effective social media presence, you, you need to know what you're doing. That, just, that takes a little education. Um, so, when, when, you, when you think about marketing, what do you sell? What do you sell? Can you describe, can you describe in, in um, understandable terms what you sell, right? And again, who is your customer? What is your pricing strategy? How do you develop a pricing strategy? 
How do you know how much to charge for your consultant? How do you know? <laughs> Conversations, talking, experience. And maybe, yeah. Just looking at what um, other people in the same business are charging. Right, so taking a look at what some of your competition is doing. In, in, in consulting, it's a little more difficult because that information is not readily available unless you call somebody and say, I'm interested in your consulting services, which is done all the time. There's nothing wrong with people. Is that legal? Of course it's legal. I mean, you're, you're doing, you're, you're, you're getting information that you need for your business. So you do a little competitive analysis in, in, in um, retail stores, um, the health food stores, certainly a little easier because you go visit the health food stores, are they clean? How are their prices? What are their offerings? Do they make sandwiches? Um, you, you know, uh, how is their, their customer service? What kind of credit cards do they accept, et cetera. So it's really a lot easier to do a competitive analysis when you're in a store that you can sort of anonymously, when you're in an industry that you can sort of anonymously um, visit and, and, and do some data mining, so to speak. I've uh, worked in two others too, which is also a really great way to Oh, you've worked, yeah, see. <laughs> I'm the manager of one right now. So, so if you have industry experience, <laughs> it's really, um, that's, that's the cat's pajamas right there. Because right. you understand the industry and, and anything that you start, that's a good point, thank you for bringing that up. Anything you start, any kind of business that you start, um, there are two, 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 two things that you need. You need, you should have industry experience. Of course, you're talking to, to somebody who opened up a, a restaurant <laughs> without any restaurant experience. And you need an understanding of business. And if you don't have either one or both of that, get somebody to help you. So what I did is I hired a consultant to help me understand what the restaurant and the the bagels were in the, the bagel industry was all about and and be able to help me buy the equipment set up my shops and uh give me you know give me the recipes etc so get some outside help that's really important get some and don't be afraid to get us there's a lot of free help out there yes vdc we have an office every other week we're up down in the, the wolf Park area so if you're looking for um how, how far is wolf Park? Yeah. 20. How many? 40. 40 minutes. So if you're looking to meet one-on-one -on -one with a business advisor from the SBDC, free, confidential, we have, um, we have a business advisor there every other week and set up, call our office, you have uh, a business card um, in your packet, call our office, set up a phone there, or, or Rochester is probably, probably a lot further. Yeah. Also 40 minutes? No, for a lot further. A lot further. Um, so, um, so we can we can meet with you, help you tackle some of these issues. Any questions or comments so far? <coughs> on the marketing piece, do you do anything with any training on the social media? Uh, actually, let me let me um, the the sort of tent card that you have here, those those little postcards. Um, our e-learning course. I, I would advise you to take a look at our website and take a look at those e-learning courses. Um, they're 24-7, again, no charge. Um, and on that, we have two social media courses. And they take about an hour and a half each. You can bookmark them. Um, we have the four that I really like are starting a business in New Hampshire. Financing and business in New Hampshire, social media, the two social media. Social media is getting a little dated now because it's about a year, a little over a year old. We're going to update that. But it's still worth a look, uh, a look at. So, yeah. But there are, there are, um, we'll probably be doing, probably be doing a um, workshop on that. We were talking, we were, I was at a staff meeting today. We were planning out our year, probably next spring. The problem is, Robin, we don't have the resources to do a heck of a lot outside of our one-on-one -on -one business council. Because our strength is that one-on-one -on -one business council. We don't. We used to do a lot more training. We just don't have the resources for that. Well, I just want to get an email. So there's still a lot of training that's available, or 
seminars or right. Or so you get you I you get the e the e learning. I mean yeah. the e the e news. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So what I'll do is I'm if you um, if you're interested in getting the e news the SBDC e news write that on your evaluation form. I'll make sure you get um, that we add you to the list. Get sent out to probably 2,000 New Hampshire businesses. Um, so, describing your your product or or service. Obviously, what is it? You know, again, I'm not talking about necessarily a small business, but just thinking about your business in totality. What is your product? What is your product from your customer's point of view? How would you describe it? How does it work? What's its What's its secret sauce? Why are you special? Why should I buy? Why should I go to your to you, to your store? Why should I hire you as a consultant? Where is your experience? Where is your passion? And where is what is that secret sauce that I should that I that I'm going to go to you? I'm going to get help from you, right? And and you're going you're going to help me in my business. It's really important to have something that's unique to you and your business. Who, who, who are your customers? Right? Where do they reside? Where do they live? What type of businesses are they in? What are the demographics? Are they, are they, um, what kind of salary are they earning? And does your geographic location fit that demographic? Are there enough of those of your, your, the kind of customer that you're looking for in <coughs> the area where you're, you're doing business? Okay. Um, part of the reason why I was able to charge a little more for my product is, and I didn't consider it, you know, you might say, well, he's, a, he's ripping off his customers. I, I'm, I, I'm not, I wasn't because I was providing some added, added value to I feel what the average restaurant did. Okay. So the, w one of the reasons I was able to do that was because the demographics in Durham are a little higher than the average demographics in New Hampshire. So I knew that my customers could afford to if they got a, a better quality product. And I would argue that's the same holds true for you, that, that I don't know how the, the demographics are up here, but um, your quality drives your business. Yeah, I can taste it, but I don't see it. I taste that artisan bread. I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> sort of digesting it in absentia. Yeah, I delivered it all today, so. <laughs> it's all out there. Um, so, so, yeah. What, what kind of ovens do you use? Do you use uh, a commercial oven? We have a wood-fired brick oven. Oh, that's right. It's half the house, 14 tons. Would you say half the house? Yeah. Well, about a third now the house keeps getting bigger. <laughs> but um, it has a five by seven cooking area. It's big. Um, so again, know your customers, know your competition. Understand your competition really well because it's going to change constantly. Constantly. If you don't mind me asking the two, two ones who came in um, a little bit late, are you in business? Um, I, right now it's a hobby. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, restoring chairs, you know, reweaving seats. Caning? Caning, shaker, mm -hmm. all the different. And so I'm looking to make it into a business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not in business, considering alternatives. Could consider starting a business. Yeah. Any any specific business? Any specific type of business? It's totally just. Yeah.